Welcome to this tutorial for customizing session colors in CA Automation Point 11.6. The ability to customize session colors was first proposed by a user of CA Automation Point in the CA Communities forums. The idea was popular with customers, and so we decided to build this feature into release 11.6 of CA Automation Point. Being able to alter the colors for the background and text in your session windows enables you to visually differentiate between environments. This video will demonstrate how to customize session colors in CA Automation Point. To begin, open Configuration Manager. Select Automation under Expert Interface. Then select Session Color Mappings and Configure. In Session Color Mappings, you can create new color mappings and edit, copy, or delete existing color mappings. To create a new color mapping, select New. The Color Mapping Definition dialog opens. The Color Mapping Definition dialog enables you to assign a title to your new color mapping and to make your customizations to text colors, background color, and preview your custom color mapping. To edit text color, select any color in the displayed columns. You can choose from the basic colors or select Define Custom Colors to generate and add your own custom color to the available roster. Note, the Legacy Client column has fewer colors to choose from. This is because prior to release 11.6, Remote Viewer Client supported only 16 colors. To change the background color, select the displayed color. You have the same options as before. You can select basic colors, and you have the ability to define your own custom colors. For a legacy client, you again have fewer colors to choose from. In the Preview section, Select any of your chosen text colors to view them against your selected background color. When you are happy with your mapping, give your mapping a title. Select OK to validate your changes and save your new session color mapping. You now see your new mapping in the Session Color Mappings dialog. To copy your mapping, select the mapping, then select Copy. The mapping is copied, and the title is appended with a numeral. You can edit a color mapping by selecting it and then selecting Edit. You can modify the title and any of the colors, or cancel if you change your mind. To delete a color mapping, select the mapping in the Session Color Mappings dialog, then select Delete. If you do not want to make any further changes, then select Exit to validate your changes. Now let's apply the new color mapping to one of your sessions. From Configuration Manager, select Session Definition Sets. Select a session, then right-click and select View Modify. The Automation Point Session Definition dialog opens. Select Local Session Settings. In the Local Session Settings dialog, you can select the default mapping or any of your custom mappings. Select OK to validate and apply your changes. Now that we have created a custom session color mapping, let's see how it looks in action and compare it to the default color scheme. Notice the session on the right uses the default session colors, while the session on the left is the session to which we have applied our custom session color mapping. With session colorization, you are able to create session color mappings that help you to easily differentiate between sessions. Let's see an example of a legacy client. Notice that it takes a few seconds for the custom session color mapping to load in a legacy client. You have seen examples of creating a custom color mapping for sessions in CA Automation Point 11.6.
If you have any questions, leave a comment or refer to the product documentation linked in the description below. Thank you for watching.